allegations, an escort service called, and a coach resigning. That's what Ole Miss athletic officials are dealing with. Athletic Director Ross Bjork saying Hugh Freeze's resignation comes after personal misconduct. Many Ole Miss fans are disappointed, upset, and left wondering why. But why are so many fans and opponents entrenched in the ongoing saga? Our Jory Talley joins us in the studio with more on why fans become so polarized with these types of stories. Jory? Andre and Joey, a man who was once known to be a role model in his faith and leadership, is now someone whose secrets contradict everything fans thought he stood for. Today I talk with fans about their reaction and a psychologist to see where this passion comes from. He let the rebel nation down. A statement heard over and over the day after former Ole Miss football coach Hugh Freeze resigned. The school did not say explicitly personal misconduct led to the decision but did confirm his school phone was linked to at least one call to an escort service. Some fans and critics say that would be in direct conflict with the image he portrayed to the rest of the country. And one of the things that Hugh preached is that the Rebel Nation's a family. And as a family, he, he let us down in a lot of ways. Well, he let himself down too. And, um, but it, it's a sad situation. But you know what? We, as, as Rebel fans, we got to move on. This was unexpected, so it's sad. Within minutes of his resignation, the internet blew up with people attacking Freeze. But what drives that desire to destroy? Psychologically, all of us have a tendency to want to look at other people's failures, their weaknesses, because it's an automatic distraction from our own missteps. There are many allegations at this point. Counselor Wendy Wood says stories like this often lead people to question their own faith and even people who they thought they knew. Because of the, the notoriety that the institution itself has, the history of the individual and his successes and in his Christian walk, it is going to be much more, pop, much more publicized and even popular to poke fun at and, and to prolong than someone maybe next door or within our own community. While there seems to be a lot of bad news surrounding Surrounding the football program, most fans say they'll remain loyal. When it rains, it pours, and then it, you know, sometimes when it pours, it storms. <laughs> In this case, it, it's storming pretty bad for Ole Miss fans, but, you know, it, the sunshine always comes out, and all we can do is look forward to when that sunshine does come out. And, you know, hopefully we'll come out on top and, you know, be back to relevance again. To make things even worse, this all comes just two weeks before practice kicks off for the upcoming season. Andre and Joey, 